On the first day of session, climate activists descended upon the state capitol, making their voices heard. We have allowed the unfettered release of carbon pollution into our air. On day two, Governor Jay that Inslee revealed details of his latest carbon tax county, proposal, a plan he's now trying to sell to lawmakers and business leaders alike. This is a new year. This is unprecedented that we have ever had a coalition working on carbon legislation. The governor met this afternoon with environmental groups, labor and business, including Microsoft and Puget Sound Energy. We do not anticipate that every single you know, business in the state of Washington is going to rush to this. We understand that. But the people of the state of Washington who are seeing ash fall in the hood of their cars, who have seen British Columbia have a carbon price and have the most robust economy in Canada, and are now seeing uh, Puget Sound Energy and Avista both say this is a reasonable thing, that's very promising. The new carbon tax bill proposes a $20 per ton tax on carbon emissions. His policy staffers acknowledge that could result in residential gas prices to rise around 10 percent, gas prices to potentially rise 9 percent in future years. Projected revenue is estimated at $1.5 billion over the next two years, revenue that would go towards investing in fighting climate change by reducing emissions and transitioning to more clean energy. I think this is more about uh, his desire to run for a higher office in 2020 um, and, and outdo what he thinks California does than to actually solve what he claims is the problem. Republican leaders in the state legislature call the bill heavy on taxes, short on policy paving the way for fierce debate over the next two months. Especially if you're somebody who is kind of a middle to low income person, you're going to be hit absolutely horrifically hard by the proposals the governor's put before us today. This is not the first time it's been done. The world has proven it works and we ought to join the rest of the world with something that works. Reporting in Olympia, I'm Natalie Brand, King 5 News.